Oh, Donald, thank heavens you're here. I'm sorry I'm late. I got hung up in court this morning on a Gibson case. I know. Nothing's happened, has it? I mean, Joyce hasn't called me. No, thank heavens for that, too. I mean, what I would have told her. Oh. Hey. Come on, now, take it easy. I can't stop thinking about her. I am glad you talked to her, though. You look a little tired. Didn't sleep much. I didn't either. I just... I just kept thinking about her. Everything she's gotten away with. Honey, I took the preliminary divorce papers to the courthouse this morning. We're going right ahead with that. Donald, I, I know it's stupid, and I know that I've said it before, but I just keep wishing that we were married now, already. Now, honey, you know we would have had to have gotten an annulment. We wouldn't have been any better off than we are now. And you know that nothing could make us closer together on this than we are right now. I know. I know. Good. But what if she decides to stay? I mean, after everything that she has done to people here, how can she be so insensitive? <sighs> well, sensitivity has never been one of Joyce's strong points, except where Joyce is concerned, of course. Now, look, as you know, I can press charges against Joyce for assault. I have grounds. What are you going to do? I don't know. You don't know? Does that bother you? I uh, know. Uh, uh, listen, I, I, I talked to Chris this morning, and he said I could have the afternoons off. Good. I told you everything would be fine. You seem to be going around in circles this morning. Am I? But even circular. I love you. Oh, Donald. Honey, everything is going to work out. Don, you... You weren't very reassured by your meeting with Joyce, were you? No. Not very much. Well, I was on the phone for Ian all morning, making sure everything was taken care of, you know, reservations, the tickets, and the limousine to the airport. I was on my, on my way home, and I just had to get a few things for myself. Well, most people who uh, go to Rome do the shopping there. Well, Dad, this, this perfume and soap, shampoo, things like that. Will it all fit in your luggage? <laughs> we'll soon see. Well, your mother went to a luncheon, but I made a sandwich for myself. Can I make one for you? Oh, Dad, I couldn't eat. Well, I... Don't like for me to miss meals. <laughs> Until I get to Rome, I'll probably eat like a horse. You won't be getting to Rome until tomorrow night or even later than that. You can't live on excitement all that time. Yes, I can. <laughs> Are you all packed? Well, partially. I'm going to do a little bit more now. Then I have to go back to Ian's and help him pack. I always wonder about the helplessness of men who need their wives or their secretaries to do their packing for them. He's too busy to do that. Can't be bothered with mundane things. Mundane, eh? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Oh, uh, Annie wanted you to know that she'll see you at dinner tonight. Uh, she went out for a ride. Uh, you will be with us tonight, won't you, your last night? Mm. Of course I will. Well, I tell you, I can't help but be envious of you going to Rome at your age. I'm very lucky. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Rome is a marvelous place. Of course, you're going under such auspicious circumstances. With Ian, you mean? Um, well, for the concert. Of course, you can't live on glamour all your life, but I think you're sensible enough to know that. Well, maybe. <laughs> I guess if your mother and I had chosen an experience for you, we couldn't have done better. Going to Italy in the company of a creative artist, whom you'll be watching put on a concert that will be heard all around the world. Pretty hard to improve on that. I know. Although I... Although what? Well, Dad, I don't think Mom would agree with you completely. 
Oh? Yeah, I think she's a little uneasy about me going off like this with Ian. Well, of course, your mother is, uh, is a mother. <laughs> Fathers worry, too, don't they? Yes, we do. But I think in this case, I will, uh, rely upon your level-headedness. You just go over there and have a marvelous time. Try not to worry too much about what your parents are thinking. Just don't forget to write home. So let's see what else. Ah, oh, yes, we had an absolute run of whodunits this morning. Oh, well, I guess that's because of the article that came out in the paper yesterday. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, did Kim get in touch with you? Yep, we had a nice long conversation last night. Yeah, because after you left yesterday, well, both she and Grant came by to see you. Really? Oh, well, what did Grant want? Oh, I don't know, he didn't say. I don't think it was very important, though. I think I'll give him a little call. Lisa, did you enjoy your time off yesterday? Oh, my time off yesterday. It was wonderful. I did absolutely uh, nothing of any importance at all. Just oh. had a good time. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> it was. Oh, I just did things for me, if you know what I mean. Mm. Oh, I had my hair done and I uh, had a facial. Oh, mm, my. <laughs> I feel like a new woman. I really do. Well, you look terrific. Thank you. You sure you're not saying that, trying to get a raise? Lisa, I mean it. Uh, Thanks a lot. You know, it, it really is nice to hear that. Sometimes it's interesting how we need to be reassured every now and then, especially when we're alone. I, I guess when you have a man around, he can always be around and say, you look nice. Or if you get real upset about something, then he's there to kind of settle you down. It's just that... Well, I guess having a man around is reassuring in itself, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes, I do. And yet, now here I am without... Oh, listen to me running on like this. This is silly. Now, tell me about you and, and about uh, Barbara. Did she get back? Yes. So, how, how is her friend, the one she went to see back east? Uh, better, I, I guess. I don't know. She really didn't talk too much about it. Oh, oh, there was someone else here yesterday to see you. Who? Your geologist friend, Brad Hollister. He was here. My goodness, he he came by here? Well, what in the world did he want? I mean, he's got all of his books. I can't imagine. Did he say uh, what he wanted? Well, he just said to tell you that um, that he'd see you sometime. Sometime. But he didn't say when. Sometime soon. Oh. <sighs> I see. Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. He's, he's an interesting person. He seems like he has a, lots of, uh, what? Energy, I guess. Energy is a good word for it. He's, um, well, outdoorsy. Okay, enough of this, uh, <clears throat> self-indulgence, especially of yesterday. I've got to say, now, let's see, what needs to be done around here? Oh, well, we got this new shipment of books from Dunlap and Cross. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Melinda, have you ever felt like you're just on the brink of something? Sometimes.
time. What happened to it? I really have to be getting back, Dad. So soon? Seems to me you just got here. Well, Ian will be wondering where I am. I don't dare tell him that I'm not packed. He thinks I'm so organized. Have I got him fooled? Well, you just tell him it's all my fault. Tell him I kept you here, bending your ear. Oh, oh Dad, it's been great. You know, I am going to miss you. Well, you'll get over that very quickly. I can't be your mother yet. I'll get it. Hello, hello, oh, hello, hello. hello. John, please, John, I brought something for you. Well, how nice. So I'm just leaving, but come on in. Well, I will take a minute. Hello, David. Hello, John. Hey, you ready to go? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not. I've just started packing, but don't you tattle on me. Oh, no, I won't. Hey, be sure to bring some uh, warm clothes with you, because Rome is a lot colder than in the winter than a lot of people think. <laughs> doesn't snow there, does it? Oh, I don't think it does, but it's very damp. Oh, uh, here, I, 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 I brought, that's something indispensable for you. Oh, no, I should... Uh, yes, open it, please, do. <laughs> Italian English Dictionary, mm. terrific! You don't Thanks. have one, do you? No, I have one of those little conversational ones with cartoons. Oh. I haven't had a chance to study it. Well, this one is very good. Now, this will help you around if you get lost. Well, so far, I know yes, no, and thank you. Si, no, grazie. Uh. Oh. And ciao. Well, that's, that's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> By the way, I find I'm going to be in Rome a day earlier than I thought. Oh? Yeah, I uh, contacted the Hotel Excelsior, and they've moved the reservation ahead. So I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. We'll have to have an espresso together on the Via Veneto. <laughs> that sounds so elegant. Yeah. Maybe I can take you sightseeing. We'll have to check with Ian. Oh, now, look. He's not going to need you all the time he's rehearsing, you know? I tell you what, I hear that the, uh, the Palatine Hill is really something. Let me take you there. We'll have to see. Uh, John, what about your patient? I mean, isn't this a lot of excitement for someone who's had a recent coronary? Oh, he, Ian's just fine. Though. Yeah, he, he has made a remarkable recovery. Now, I think if he just follows the rules that I've set down, he'll be all right. And I'll make sure he will. Yeah. Look, he's probably wondering where I am. I have to get back. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much for the dictionary. Oh, that's That was very right. thoughtful of you. I expect you to be my interpreter when we're <laughs> there. Bye, thanks. Bye bye. See you later, honey. Have a nice trip. Boy, she seems airborne already. Yeah, it seems that way. What are you doing home today? I thought you'd be at the lab. Well, John, I had some work that I could do here at home. Huh. Besides, I wanted to be here when uh, Dee got home. You have problems? No, I just wanted to spend a little more time with her before she leaves. Right, right. I understand that. She's quite a girl, David. I guess you and Ellen are going to miss her while she's away. I imagine we will. I don't think you have to worry about Dee, though. I think she's going to have a ball. It's my impression that she'll be spending most of her time working. Oh, well, I suppose so. But listen, I mean, who goes to Rome to work all of the time? That's impossible. Too much to see, too much to do. Well, I certainly hope she has time to see the sights, but uh, that's not the purpose of the trip. No, no, I know that. I know that. What I, what I meant to say well, was... She works very hard for Ian here, and I think she's going to work very hard for him there. Yeah, you don't let me finish, David. What I was trying to say to you is that you and Ellen don't have to worry about Dee spending all of her spare time alone in that city. I'm going to be there some of the time, too. I'll keep an eye on things. She won't need that, John. She's a big girl. She can uh, oh, look listen. after herself. In a city like Rome, boy, I've heard some stories. John, I thought I made it clear. <laughs> it's a wild day. city, David. And you take a pretty young girl like that alone in the city? No, sir. A few whistles are not going to bother Dee. She's going to get along just fine. I assure you, she won't need your help. School? Oh, you did. Well, you don't mind, do you? I mean, until I saw him yesterday, I haven't seen him in a long time. Oh, Mary, I, I missed him so much. Yes, I do. I do mind. Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I think so. What happened? My horse shot. 
Where did you come from? Up on the hill. You sure you're all right? Yeah, it just knocked the breath out of me. Well, hello. Hello. How come we only meet in a crisis? I don't know. Makes it kind of interesting, though, doesn't it? That depends on the crisis. Joyce, I don't want to seem unreasonable, but the, the times that I'm not here to pick up Teddy, he's supposed to go straight home. And he knows that. It's a family rule. But since you are here to pick him up, it makes it all right now, doesn't it? No. I don't understand. Why? <clears throat> it's our time together. Teddy's and mine. Mm -hmm. I take off time from work. It's a special time for us. I don't want to share it with anybody. Okay, I understand mm -hmm. that. I wouldn't want to interfere in any special thing between you and Teddy. Good. As long as you understand. Do you want me to call you when I want to see him? I'll do that, because I really want to see him. Uh, yes, um... Listen, uh, Joyce. Yeah? Donald said that, uh, you're thinking about staying here in Oakdale? I am. Well, you're not really serious about that, are you? Well, I know that people are, um... afraid of me. For heaven's sakes, what'd you think? You think they wouldn't be? No, I knew it. Look, until I saw Teddy, it was the first time in months I felt good. For the first time, Mary, I felt that my life was worth living. You're gonna upset a lot of people's lives if you stay here. You mean you and Donald? No, I won't. I won't interfere in your lives. I promise I won't. No, I don't mean just Donald and me. A lot of people. In fact, I think it'd even be better for you if you left. How? Why? Well, because of your feelings for Teddy. You don't really belong in his life, either. Well, I know that, but I... Well, if, if you stay here, you know, you're just going to want to see him more and more, and he's going to sense those feelings, no. and it's going to confuse him. But if I'm careful, if I'm very careful... Joyce, he's a bright, sensitive little kid. Look. When you gave him up for adoption, you gave up every right you had to call yourself his mother, or to even think of yourself as his mother. And now you've got to stay away from him. A child needs all the love they can get. They can never have too much love. Teddy's got plenty of love. He's got me and he's got Donald. He doesn't need any more parents. He... He thinks of me as a friend. Oh, Joyce, come on, don't kid yourself. You think you're talking about Teddy's needs? What you're really talking about is your needs. You are alone. You need someone to fuss over. You need someone to love. Well, why does it have to be Teddy? No matter what you may think, I want what's best for him. You do. Then prove it by not forcing yourself into that little boy's life. How? And what do I do? If I leave Oakdale where I can't see him once in a while, what do I do? It's a problem you'll have to solve. You don't... You don't understand any of this. After the accident, after everything that happened, the only thing that I could think about was Teddy. Do you understand? He's the only one that I have to hold on to. Well, you'll have to find another reason. Because for most of his life, I have been his mother. That is the way it's going to stay. Hey, Teddy. Mm -hmm. How's my boy? Hi, Joyce. You came again. Yeah, I did. I just came to say hello to you. Hey, come on. Let's go. We got a lot of things to do today. Come on. Okay. Is Aunt Joyce coming with us? No, no. She's very busy. Okay. See you some other time, Aunt Joyce. Yeah, I'll see you some other time. He's the only person in this world who loves me. Oh, Don. She was there again. Joyce was? Yes! Mm. 
Where's Teddy? He's in Chris's office. What are we gonna do? All right, just hold on a second. Now tell me what happened. I, I, I went to the park to pick up Teddy like, like usual, and there she was, waiting for him again. All right, she wants to see him. I can understand that. Don, I, I don't trust her. Honey, I understand that having Joyce is in our lives again is very disturbing, disturbing. to you. Disturbing? But I've thought about this. And I think that we're going to have to try to, to accept Joyce at her word. Now, after the accident, she was afraid of what was going to happen to her. She was afraid that I was going to press charges. So I can see why she would want to, to stay away, to hide. You're not feeling sorry for her. Feeling sorry for her? She tried to kill me, didn't she? Yes, and let's not forget it. All right, all right. But she did do one good thing. She did go to a psychiatrist. Nobody ever needed it more. All right, now just hold on. The fact that she did go was an admission that she realizes she has problems, that she knew that there was something wrong with her. Just because she went to a psychiatrist doesn't mean that she's changed in any way. Well, I think it may. She says she's changed. Oh, of course, she says so. She wants us to believe her. She wants us to accept her, to, to bring her into our lives again. Well, I'd rather have a rattlesnake. And another thing. How do we know that she really went to a psychiatrist? We only have her word for that. Well, honey, I've never seen you like this before. Don, I'm scared. She wants Teddy. Right. She wants to see Teddy. Yes, but I think she's, she's lonely, she's friendless, and she's looking for affection wherever she can find it, including from Teddy, but I think that's all. Now, I had a long talk with her yesterday afternoon. I know. And even though I was very upset, it did seem to me that, at least in some way, that she was different. Don't count on it. Hey. Hey, you're the one that's always been so kind, always ready to believe the best about yeah, people. Yeah, well, in this case, I make an exception. When you saw her today, what did you say to her? Not half of what I thought. Believe me, I was very restrained. Well, I'm sure you were, but what did you say to her? I told her that I thought it was best for everyone, and for her and for Teddy, if she just left Oakdale. I agree with that. I don't know if I got through to her, though. I don't know. Well, let's hope you did. Don, what if she stays? What if she just... just digs in here and stays? Well, honey, we'll just have to face that when we get there. Meanwhile, I have her copy of the preliminary divorce papers, and I've got to get those to her. And the sooner the better. Hey. Come here, you. Come here. Nothing Joyce can do will keep you, Teddy, and me from becoming a family. I'm not going to let anybody prevent that. I've told you that before. I'm just not sure that it's sunk in. It's not very big, but it's nice and bright. Mm. Yes. Yes, it is. The uh, last folks that were in here, they put travel posters up on the wall. It looked real nice. Mm. Oh, the sofa. It opens up into a bed, is that uh, right? Yes, uh, like this. Huh? Uh, the kitchen's over there. There's dishes and flatware for four. Uh, uh, place this size, uh, you aren't going to want to feed more than that. Uh, the bed linens in the closet, and there's the bathroom. One thing we do ask is that you uh, put the shower curtain inside the tub before you take a shower. If you don't, you flood the bathroom, which floods the floor below yours. I'll, I'll be careful. Okay, well, uh, there you are. We like to get the first and last month's rent. Yes, I have it. I have the first month's. I have it in cash. I uh, could wait on the uh, last month. I'll give it to you later. Yeah. Well, I'll uh, go uh, get your suitcases. Oh, 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 uh, I was wondering, do you have any spare clothes hangers? Well, I can scare up a few. The wife may have some. I'll bring them when I bring your bags. 
Thank you very much. It'll be nice. Fix it up. I'll make it work. I'll do it. I'm gonna make it into a home. John? Oh. <laughs> Hi. I didn't know anyone was out here. Oh, that's all right. Listen, I'm uh, just looking around. Um, you remember that, uh, English-Italian dictionary I bought from you this morning? Yeah. I gave that one to Dee Stewart. You wouldn't have another, would you? I don't know. Let me take a look. I didn't think about it at the time, but I'm going to need one, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You are going on a trip, aren't you? Yeah, medical conference in Brussels. And then I thought when it's over, I just might try to get down to Rome myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, John, I uh, hope you have a good trip. Look, I'm... Um, I think the coffee you bought was the last one I have in stock. Oh, really? Yep, sorry about that. Well, how about up at the hospital? You think that branch might have it? <laughs> no, don't be silly. Not there. We only sell books there that patients will enjoy, and it would not include a dictionary. Huh. Hmm. I might have to go to one of your competitors. Oh, my. I'll just have to take my chances. Yeah. By the way, when I was uh, looking around here, uh, mm -hmm thought occurred to me. You, you don't mind if I make a comment, do you? Uh, go ahead. I know you will anyway. Yeah. Now, I'm not trying to criticize the way you run your business or anything, but don't you really think that this place could use a little sprucing up, you know what I mean? Sprucing up? Yeah. What do you mean by sprucing up? Well, what do you mean by sprucing up? A little fresh paint, you know, perhaps a few more shelves. Now, look, look, you got a whole stack of books over there. They're lying up against each other. Now, somebody like me comes I... in. Try to browse around. I can't even tell what you've got over Look, there. Look, John, I know about the books there. They just arrived this morning. I have not had a chance to put them up yet. Yes, I'm, I'm, and I'm not criticizing the way you run your business. I just think you need some more shelves is all. Oh, I see. Well, uh, I'm doing just fine. Just, I, just don't be concerned about it. Okay, I just hate to see you lose customers, that's all. I, really, my business is, is doing just fine. I've been in it for a long, long time. And you've done very, very well, I think. As I say, I just don't want to see you lose customers. By the way, uh, I haven't had much of a chance to talk to you since you got back to town. Oh, I don't know. We've seen each other. Well, just to say hello. Yeah. yeah but, uh, well, I want you to know I heard about that uh, ordeal of yours with that guy Bennett. I think everybody's heard about that. Yeah. Well, it was a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's going to take you a while to get over that. John, I'm over it. No, 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 no. What I meant was that it's probably going to be a... Well, it'll be a while before you commit yourself to someone else, I should think. An experience like that, it's got to destroy your confidence in yeah, people. I am bit. fine. I really am just fine. I'm getting along fine. I'm happy. I'm busy. I've got my health. Please, don't worry about me. Oh, well, you know, I do, because I think you and I, well, we have a few things we're alike, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we are? Well, sure, I've told you that before, I imagine. Oh, no, well, if you did, I certainly repressed that remark. Yeah, well, we all have our selective memories. I understand that. What I meant was, I've always felt you have a way of of seeing people for what they really are. I do, too. Only sometimes I think you fight it. Sometimes I think you kid yourself about people when you should know better. I'll tell you one thing. I don't kid myself about you. I hope you have a very nice trip. I'm very busy, so if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Hello, is this the Royal Motel? Yes. Would you connect me with Joyce Hughes' room, please? Well, she did. When? I see. She's checked out. She's gone? Thank heavens. Uh, excuse me. Did uh, she happen to tell you where she was going? Uh, uh, just a second. Bella Vista. Apartments. Yeah, I've got that. Thank you very much. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. 
Well, it looked like she plans to stay. Wouldn't you know it? Well, there's nothing we can do to stop her. You know where the Bella Vista apartments are? No, but I could certainly find out easy enough. Must be either a new building or in some part of town that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Bella, Bella Vista Apartments, 430 Grand Avenue. Oh, yeah, I know where that is. It's on the outskirts of the business district. That's not the greatest neighborhood. Don't feel sorry for her, Donald. She brought it all on herself. Honey, I know. I know. You're not thinking of not pressing charges, are you? Honey, I haven't made up my mind about that. I simply do not know what the best thing to do is. I think it would be arbitrary for me to make a decision without understanding the entire situation. It's very lawyer-like. Well, what do you think I should do? Donald, I told you I think it should be your decision. Yes, I know, but you have feelings about this. Yes, but... I'm not the one who has to take her to court. Yeah. Well, it would be very nasty bringing out all the business about Ralph. I know. And it would have to come out. Her affair with Ralph, her attempt to set him up for the shooting, getting me instead. Well, what does Ralph think you should do? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think he even knows she's back, but... What's more important to me is what you want. Okay. What do you want? All I want is to keep Teddy safe and be married to you. I mean, what do you want me to do about Joyce? Joyce isn't innocent. You know that, and so do I. With all her suffering and all of her changes, she isn't innocent. Mm-hmm.